What is a glass blowing torch? How does it work? That is what we're talking about in today's video. Let's get right into it. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass, your home for glass blowing. Today we are talking about my glass torch. Kind of just rambling, just giving you some tips and tricks about what a glass torch is, how it works, why it works the way it does, just overall just some little things that are informational. Some stuff that you might want to know if you are a glass blower, some things that you might want to know if you're not a glass blower. It's just something cool to know if you enjoy glass art. So let's get right into it. To start off, I will say there are a few torch companies out there. There is GTT, Glass Torch Technologies, probably the most popular. There is Bethlehem, that is the torch that I use. There are Carlisle and Nortel. Uh, those are kind of like the main four torches, like the torch companies that are on my radar. So if you want to do some research and find your own torches, those are the main companies you can start with. This one, like I said, this is a stage one Bethlehem Alpha. As far as torches go, there are several layers of rings of there we go, focusing. There are several rings and outlets, and that is what makes up each stage. So this is a stage one torch. I will pop up a, a picture of what a stage two and a stage three torch looks like. Those get so hot and they are so big that you actually need to sometimes wear sunblock because there's so much UV and radiation that is given off. I am upgrading soon, so definitely keep an eye out for a stage two video. But this, like I said, stage one, we've been working on this torch for a couple years and it's done me well. An entry level torch gets the job done. It has an oxygen and a propane. And the thing that when I was first starting to blow glass, the thing that seemed the best is B fittings. There are regular like hose clamp style barbs and then there are b fittings that actually screw on so that is the way bethlehem uses it most other companies are barb fittings so i just preferred this when i was first starting out felt like it was a uh a safer option because i'm really big on safety and just making sure you make the the proper precautions when doing this but another thing to add this is a marver on top of the torch it is an add-on. It is so you can work the glass on a graphite pad right here above your torch. And that kind of lays down what the torch is. Like I said, propane and oxygen. Oxygen is the accelerant, propane is the gas. As well, it's adjustable in a couple different ways. It can adjust forward, up and down, and then back and forwards. And yeah, this is actually a a shield, a glass, a griffin glass tool shield, and this slides in right like that, and it gives an extra layer of protection. Uh, that is kind of, like I said, the lowdown on what a glass torch is and how it works. I will light it up for you guys, show you how it works. The, the way that I learned to light the torch is poop, propane, oxygen. You turn on the propane, you light it, then the oxygen and then to turn it off it's the exact opposite you kill the oxygen and then you turn off the propane and so you never want to have a uh, a lighter laying on the bench there's a couple different ways to light a torch you can use a striker you can use a actual match or a candle or you can use a lighter i use a lighter and then i stick it right back in my pocket you never want to light it i've seen people light it and they lay, lay their lighter right there i mean this is a basically uh, explosive right next to your torch Anyways, digressing, crack the propane, you light the propane, you light the pro, you crack the propane, you light the propane, and then you introduce the oxygen slowly because you can blow the flame out with the oxygen. Uh, and I will, I will try to demonstrate that in a second, but to turn it back off, you, you kill the pro, or you, sorry, you kill the oxygen and there it blew the torch out actually. So then you turn off the propane afterwards and you always make sure that your your lines are closed. Like I said, so 
propane, crack it, light it, and see that blew out the torch or the, the flame. There we had a little bit of blowback, but that's why I also have flashback arresters and nothing blew back. This is a surface mix torch rather than a uh, pre-mix where the flame is igniting and mixing in the torch. It is actually igniting and mixing on the surface rather than internally inside of the torch. So that is basically all in all how a torch works, what it is. You know about a couple different companies now. Feel like I've given you a few tips and tricks. I will have more in depth videos as time goes on. Just making this, trying to stay consistent with you guys, give y'all content, have a home for glass blowing information. So hopefully you got something out of this. You learned something pretty cool. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I will have more videos coming, like I said, uh, how to's, everything you need to know to blow glass, uh, you know, how to set up a home studio, everything that I would have wanted to know. I would like to share that knowledge with you guys, everything that I've taken the time to learn myself. I'm a self-taught artist all through YouTube, all through research, watching people on Instagram, watching Facebook videos, watching YouTube videos. So I just am trying to add to that power of knowledge. Uh, and cause there's nowhere for me to go and learn. Even now I want to learn more. I want to learn about glass blowing more and where I live here in San Antonio, Texas, there's no major facilities, no major schools. I can find private artists. I can find private places. I can travel to other places in the country, but here, my home where I'm at, it's very difficult. So having videos like this, providing it to people like you, I hope you all have a, they find a huge value in these videos. And like I said, how to's, uh, tool reviews. I don't really want to do as much like tutorials per se, but I, I'm sure I will get into those because I am still learning, but the information that I've accumulated through my own time and effort, I'm going to share with you guys. So if that's something that interests you, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, comment down below. Are you a glass blower or you, do you have an appreciation for glass art? Let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, guys, remember, never stop evolving.